And just like that, we can now download all of our favorite content on our Fire Stick direct to a USB drive. So no more issues with internal storage, no more issues trying to expand the storage. We can now find all of our favorite content and save that content direct to USB. On top of that, and this is the real kicker, this process works perfectly fine even on the old second generation Fi TV. Now we know on this old device, you cannot even expand the storage because it's running an old version of Android. However, following this process, we can actually download content direct to USB. So in this video today, let me show you how you can now save all of your favorite content in all of your favorite applications straight to a USB drive. So make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now I'm doing my demonstration on the second generation Fire TV stick, which as we can see here, if I go to my Fire TV, go to about, and here we can just confirm that I'm running Fire OS 5.2.7.3, but this process will work on newer devices like the 4K Fire Stick, but there is a slight caveat, so make sure you do watch this video to the end. Okay, so we just confirmed what device we're on. Let's go back. Let's go to developer options and just make sure both these are set to on. Once you've done that, let's press the home key. Let's go down and let's start downloader because we're going to make a connection to my website where I've actually written up the steps for this tutorial. And as we know, the address for my website is just bit.ly forward slash tduk. That's me and the numbers 2019. Type that in, click on go, or just press the play button on your remote. Let's click on the hamburger menu and click on tutorials. Now the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can save all of your downloads from all of your favorite applications direct to USB. Let me now open up the latest tutorial. And here it is, how to save downloads direct to USB on all of your Amazon devices. And just a small section here that if you do have the 4K Fire Stick, if you have followed my previous tutorial, you can expand the storage on that device. Just using an OTG cable, you can plug in a USB drive, type in some ADB commands, and that will then format that drive, and your Fire Stick can then use that drive as internal storage, which means you can then move applications to it or install applications to it. However, on the older devices, the Fire OS 5 devices, there's just nothing we can do because those older devices are running an older version of Android. And unfortunately on that version of Android, those ADB commands are just not supported. However, if we follow this process, we can now start saving all of our content direct to USB. Now to follow this process, we need to install a single application, which is called ADM Mod Lite. So this is a custom version of the application to give you the best possible performance. So let's open that up. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. That starts downloading and click on install. Now after I do this, I'll show you how you can actually plug in a USB drive into your Fire Stick using an OTG cable. Okay, the application is now installed. Let's not open it up. Let's just go to done. Let's now press the home key. Let me now get my OTG cable. So this is an OTG cable. It cost a couple of dollars or pounds from Amazon. And I will leave a link in the video description for the one I use. But essentially what you have here is this is a micro USB port cable. You plug this into your Fire Stick. In fact, let me get my 4K Fire Stick. So this is my 4K Fire Stick. We can see it just has a single port for micro USB where this is where you normally plug in your power cable. Now with the OTG cable, we get this port. We plug that in here and this will now provide power to the Fire Stick. Over here, we now have input port. This is where you can now plug in the normal power cable that you plugged into your Fire Stick. You'd now plug that in here. And what does this give us? This now gives us a full size USB port. Now, in this USB port, you can plug in a USB keyboard, USB mouse, or various USB devices. And in our example, I've plugged in a 32 gig FAT32 formatted USB drive. Let me now plug that in. Okay, so I've plugged in my USB drive. Let's now start ADM. We can ignore this screen for now. I'll show you how you can configure that in just a second. Let's now press the back button. Let's now navigate to the settings, which is the cogwheel on the top right. Let me now go to downloading. 
And this is now asking you, when you do use this application to complete your downloads, where is that download going to go? We can see by default, it does go to internal storage. But if I click on that, we can see I now get the option for SD card, which in fact is my USB drive. So let's click on that now. We can see here it says internal storage. If I click on the top left, let's click on that. I can now select my USB drive. Let's click on that. Now to keep things tidy, I'm going to create a new folder on my USB drive directly from this application. So let's click on the plus on the top right. Let's give this folder a name. I'll just call it um, uh, trailers because um, I love watching um, movie trailers. But of course you can call this wherever you like, wherever you want to download. Let's click on next, click on okay. And we can now see the folder that is selected is trailers. Let me press the down button and we now have the option to select trailers. Now the key thing here is on the 4K Fire Stick, this process is going to be slightly different, but I will show you that at the end. Okay, let's click on select. And we can now see we have selected that folder for our downloads. Let's leave that as is. Let's scroll down. Now, depending on the speed of your internet connection, you can also change things like how many simultaneous downloads do you want? Let's click on that. And because I have a fast internet, I'm gonna do three simultaneous downloads. But again, guys, it does depend on the speed of your device. So if you do start doing too many things with too many downloads, you may find that your device grinds to a halt. So you can just try this out and just see which option works best for you. Okay, let's scroll down. And the rest of the options we can actually leave as default. Okay, let's back out of that. And that's it, guys. We've now configured the ADM application to manage all of our downloads. Now, whichever application you use for your content, there's only two separate ways of doing this. Let me show you method number one, depending on your application. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I am doing a special promotion for the first 50 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Now, if your particular application has this option, which is choose the default download manager, all you need to do is just click on that and select external download manager. And that's all you have to do if your particular application has this feature. Now, if you don't have this feature on your application, let me show you the second option. So we can see the second type of application does not have an option to choose or change the download manager. So if your application is like this, what you need to do is go to the top and where it says choose the default play action, you want to click on that and select open with. And that's it guys, so that's the second type of application all configured. So let's now go to the first application for a test. So if you have the first type of application, which does allow you to set an external download manager, you can find your favorite content, you can click on that, select the option to download. Here we can now choose ADM, let's click on that. You can change the file name if you want to, but let's just leave that as is and click on start. Let's now press the home key. So without us doing anything else, we can now open up ADM. And just like that, that content automatically starts downloading on our device straight to USB. Now, what if you have the second type of application which doesn't have an external download manager? Well, let's open that up now. And in this application, let's say you want to save your content, you find your favorite link, you click on that. And this time you should now get a prompt saying, which application do you want to use to open that? And our example, we're going to use ADM. Let's click on that. So here, for example, you can change the file name if you want to do that. And you can also look at some of the other settings. But as we've already configured ADM, all I need to do is go down to start, click on that. I can now press the home key, go back to ADM. We can see first here creates a dummy file and that content now is coming from my favorite application through the RD link onto my USB drive, guys. So definitely do give a thumbs up for that. So that's all working great on the second generation Fire TV stick. But what if you have one of the newer devices like the 4K stick? So let me now plug that in and let's see what happens. So on my 4K Fire Stick, we're on the same page again. Let's scroll down. Let me also just give a big thanks to Nintendroid for the heads up. He also has a YouTube channel and I will leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Okay, so one thing we're gonna download the same application again. But of course, we are now on the 4K Fire Stick. Let's go down, click on download now. 
click on install and this is where the fun starts okay let's click on open so we can see up to now it's very similar to the second generation devices we give that permission once again we can press the back button on this screen let's go over to settings let's click on downloading and here we can see once again by default ADM will default back to the internal storage so how can we now choose our USB drive so let's click on that again let's click on SD card we can see now it's identified my USB drive and the internal storage but we can see guys I can't actually navigate over there to click on it so how can we click on it well if you bring up the virtual mouse by double pressing the play button we can see there's actually no visible virtual mouse either so how can we actually fix this so the way we're going to fix it is we're going to go to another application where we can actually see the mouse toggle and leave the mouse toggle where it says the USB drive let me do that now I'll just go to the mouse toggle application. Let's open that up. Let's start the virtual mouse by double pressing the play button. There it is. So we can see guys where we wanted to click was, it was around about here, I think. It is gonna take a couple of tries, but the good thing is you only have to do this once. Once you've selected your USB drive on the 4K Fire Stick, you won't have to go back to that screen ever again. So you could say this kind of headache or slight issue is only for the initial one-time click. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my cursor there because that's where I think in ADM the USB uh, prompt was. So let's press the home key now. Let's press the home key again. That should now deactivate the mouse. Let's go back to ADM. Again, let's click on settings. Okay, so now if I bring up the virtual mouse, so double press the play button. So although we can't see it, I suspect that it is actually where the USB section is, where it says TDUK vids. So I just press the select button there. We can see just like that, I've now selected my USB drive. And to be fair, I'm actually surprised it worked first time. Uh, but if it doesn't work first time, you can see roughly where the cursor would be and just try that again. Okay, so that's the first issue. So we can now navigate, or oh, if I just disable the virtual mouse. So we can see now I can actually navigate around my USB drive to pick a folder. So once again, I'm going to go for uh, the trailers folder. Let's click on that. And again, guys, we can see on the bottom right where it says select, I need to now select that. And because I don't have the virtual cursor visible, how can I do it? So once again, I'm gonna press the home key Go back to mouse toggle, bring up the virtual mouse. And now I know that I wanna leave the cursor just about here, because that's where I believe the select button is inside ADM. Once you've parked your cursor uh, about here, let's see if I can do this first time lucky. So let's leave it about there. Let's now press the home key twice. Go back to ADM, go back to settings. We can see we're already in the right location. All I need to do is just press on that select button on the bottom right. Let's bring up the virtual mouse. And if the virtual mouse is in the right location, we will see that the select button will become highlighted. Let's do that now. And just like that, guys, first time lucky, we've now managed to select the select button. I can now press select. And there we are, guys. So, and now the trailers folder is selected, which means once again, in any application I configure to use ADM, all of that content will now be saved to my USB drive. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. If you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. So many people are asking on ways on how we can actually save content direct to USB drive, especially my old school Fire OS 5 people like the second generation Fire TV or the Fire TV stick. You guys have been asking me for such a long time on how we can save things to USB. So I hope you guys do like this one. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.